Hello everyone. Today I have the pleasure of speaking to you about a Bible verse from Romans chapter 6. But before I do, I'd like to share with you a couple of objects that my son has, has brought into the house um, somehow throughout the, the last couple of weeks. Um, Theo's been uh, getting much better and better at writing and he's brought home uh, a huge pencil. Um, now, I think this is just souvenir. I've not seen him really using it that much, but quite interesting to have a, a huge pencil rather than a small one. This week, though, um, he's brought a huge rubber, and I have no idea where he's got this for, from. But it's certainly a, a good illustration that uh, big rubbers are used for big mistakes. And so I think, I don't know what Theo's planning, but he's got a huge pencil to make mistakes with, and he's got a huge rubber to get rid of those mistakes. It reminds me of when Theo was quite uh, quite a bit younger, he discovered the joys of writing. So he started going around the house just writing on the walls, not in pencil, in permanent ink. So that was interesting to try to explain to him, no, just because you can write um, doesn't mean that you should write it on everywhere, including the walls. And so in the same way, just because we have a big rubber doesn't mean that we can just carry on making big mistakes with big pencils. So I'd like to just share the scripture with you. So it's Romans chapter 6, verse 8. Now, if we died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. And just as uh, rubbers and pencils are a bit of a, a, an opposite type of notion, we also think of death and life as opposites. We think that Christ's death has erased our sins, and it has. Um, but sometimes, uh, just like a small child, we go, yay, so we've got a small rubber, we can make lots of mistakes, and we can carry on doing that, and we can have fun doing it. Uh, and I think that's the message that we need to guard against. Uh, this is what Paul's writing, is that... Um, just because he has died for our sins and there is a big rubber for all of our mistakes doesn't mean that we can continue sinning. And the reason why this is true is, Paul teaches us, is that we have also died with Christ. We are united with him. And so because of that, we share in his death as well as, as his life. So that's an interesting thought to, to ponder about, is that not only did Christ die for our sins to erase them, but he also died so that we can be freed from them. And we don't have to be slaves to the, uh, to whatever uh, we find ourselves struggling with. So I'll just leave you with that thought uh, and a short prayer as well. Dear Lord Jesus, uh, Father God and Holy Spirit, we thank you that we have been welcomed into relationship with you through the death of Jesus. We thank you that you have freed us from the snares and consequences of sin. And you've welcomed us into a life where we can enjoy freedom with you. And so I pray that for everyone listening today, that this would be the, their truth this week as well, that they would be able to walk free of temptations and the things that they find they struggle with because uh, they might um, hold on to and reach out uh, for the experiential truth of being united with you. And as a result, we can enter in into everything that that has given to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's it from me. Have a nice week.